All right, how's it going guys? Right now I'm in India kayaking out here. Lots of multi-days included, so I've been learning a little bit about it. Obviously, I'm no expert in multi-days yet, but today I would like to share some insights I have gotten over the last few weeks. Obviously, I personally like to kayak as light and as efficient as possible. That means I try to find multi-purpose for each item out there. For example, my river knife doubles up as a food cutting knife at night, my throw bag doubles up as a line to put the tarp, and just stuff like that. What's up guys? <laughs> Johnny Chase and the Senders and the Cali Boys. We've got Evan and Carson, Brent and Adrian here. Um, this, is our, this is our show of cribs right here. This is my crib for the night. Let me show you guys the inside. Come on down into my crib here. You got nice paddle structures holding these two beautiful tarps up. Down along here, we have three bug bivvies and whatever the hell Bren's sleeping in. We're hoping it rains because it's hot as hell in this crib. More, it really makes sense to divide stuff even in your group. Not everybody needs to bring a stove, pot, first aid, split, stuff like that. So just make a good plan, have your gear laid out and just divide it fair and equally within your group and everybody will have a lighter kayak and more fun on the river in the end of the day. I personally really like to have a somewhat even weight distribution from left to right but I like to keep my bow light. That means I put most of my weight in the stern and if I put anything in the bow it might be my foam mattress which is super light because I like to be able to still be super maneuverable and be able to move everything and of course the extra weight in the back does make your kayak more likely to back ender but that's just something to get used to and I personally don't find it too bad. When you're loading your gear make sure to split it up and divide it pretty clever. That means have a think, what are you gonna use on the river, what are you gonna use off water? So I can just prevent from me scrambling around in my dry bag trying to find a snack which is mixed up with my sleeping gear, you know? Like, just have a think, divide it clever and it's gonna make life way, way easier and convenient when you're out there just kayaking all day. Also, pro tip, this happened to me last week, make sure to clip every single dry bag in your boat in case you're going for a swim. You don't wanna lose anything out there. Not your sleeping bag, not your mattress, not your top, not your food, nothing. So just put the carabiner in and make sure stuff stays with your boat. When it comes to the choice of food, I have had good experiences with oats for breakfast, cookies and protein bars for like snack and lunch and stuff like that. And for dinner I like to have rice, lentils and ramen. Those are all very cheap things that contain a lot of energy and they're easy to make. All I need is a fire, a pot and a little bit of water and I have dinner ready in no time. For mattresses, I do enjoy foam mattresses. They're cheap, they're light, they can't soak up any water, so I, can, I don't need to put them in a dry bag, I just stuff them in my bow and they're good. And also, they can't rip, so I will never have a flat mattress of those. I like them. Another question you have to ask yourself is the water supply. Water, obviously, very important. Um, some rivers, you can just drink it straight. Here in Meghalaya, India, I would not recommend that. So water filters are an easy option to solve that problem. We've been using the live straw ones. Pretty cheap, $30. You just screw to an algene and drink from there. And we've all been, been staying pretty healthy throughout. Um, they seem to do the job really well. So that's a big one to bring. Makes a lot of sense. I personally always carry my passport on some extra cash because you never know what's going to happen out there. And it's just so handy to have a couple, doll couple dollars handy at times in your passport just in case stuff goes sideways. All right, but let's get to the packing process. These are the things I would put into my main dry bag, which would go into the back of my boat. I have my tarp, I have my sleeping bag, I have my hammock, sleeping bag liner, NRS sun hoodie, board shorts, hat, lighter to start fires, toothbrush, toothpaste, passport, and some extra money. Extra tip, double up your dry bags on your sleeping bag to make sure that thing stays dry no matter what happens. All this stuff goes in that dry bag on, my, on one side of my stern. In order to even out that weight, I would put my split paddle and my throw bag and my first aid on the other side. So I have an even weight distribution. And then I would put my camera bag in between my legs 
and my foam mattress in the bow. And that basically makes up for a really well evenly distributed boat, which is still super nimble, easy to paddle and does not feel too different compared to being paddled empty. Of course, I know there are infinite ways how to solve this, how to pack for your multi-day. I'm sure some people have other preferences, bring other stuff, but this is how I've been kayaking the last few weeks out here and it's been doing its job just fine. I never felt like I missed anything. I was still able to paddle just as good as with an empty kayak. So yeah, this is my kind of setup. Let me know if I forgot anything super serious. Um, super interested to hear how you guys pack, how you do it. So yeah, just, just let me know. I'll be interested to read about that and I hope to see you in the river.